Yo, what's going on guys? In this video we're going to be doing Chill Hack 1 from Voltham. Um, I rate this box about a solid intermediate. And also one thing before the video starts, um, you do notice I do have my webcam up here on my right side. Uh, I'm just going to be having that be in all my videos. Well guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so um, to get started, I'm just going to be opening my terminal here. Uh, we can just split this here. Uh, let me split that. So next, or first I'm just going to start uh, net discovery minus r, 10.0.0.1 minus 24 minus iet0. Uh, et0. And this is going to find the IP address of the box, right? Uh, we do get our IP address right here, uh, 10.0.0.206. Uh, now here we can just do nmap, uh, nmap minus sc, minus sv, we'll scan all ports on that, we can just type in the IP address here, um, so next I'm going to do a banner grab, netcam minus nv, and we'll do it on port 80, uh, it does seem like port 80 is open for HTTP, so we can uh, just press enter here. Um, so let's look at our ports. So uh, for the ports here, we do have a uh, note.txe. Um, so let me just split the, here I'll just clear this actually. So we can just FTP um, IP address. We can log in as anonymous. We do ls minus la. We do have, um, we can just get um, note.txe. right here says um, told me there's filtering in the strings being put on the command right um, so what I actually did I actually didn't even visit this FTP it's actually the first time me opening the node.txe um, what all I did was just ran the code buster um, so this this is this is running HTML um, so we're gonna run a, a code buster right so we're gonna do a code buster we're gonna, start, we're gonna specify that we're gonna do dir mode right minus u HTTP and we'll do minus w user share for this dirt buster. Um, yeah, dirt buster directory this 2.3 medium.txe. Um, I actually specify, I'll specify the extensions as HTML, PHP, and TXE. Uh, we can press enter on that. Uh, we do see that we have a secret right here for um, as a status as 301. And we also do have images, so let's visit our secrets tab. Um, and we do get a command line right here, right? Uh, for the command line here, um, you can do ID right here. And you'll see that we are under WW data, but we want to actually get, com or we actually want to get remote uh, code execution, right? Um, to do that, um, we can go to pen test, uh, let's go to pen test monkey actually. Um, we can actually get a, uh, reverse shell, so we're going to be using uh, this right here. We'll put this in here because we'll need it later on. Um, <clears throat> so if you do type in ls, um, you do see that it shows here that um, it's being detected. So the way you can do it is just doing l, and you can do backslash s, and you can now view the content. The f you can view the contents now, right? So you can do l backslash s minus, um, we'll do l backslash a. And you can execute and now you do see uh, the contents there, right? So what if we can actually execute the same thing with using the reverse shell? So here, um, the two commands are being executed right now. Um, since there's no uh, minus E on here, I'm, ex I'm actually gonna execute this without using minus E. Um, so here we're actually gonna be specifying uh, backslash there and backslash um, under remove, right? Because um, those are the two commands that are being executed. I'm going to answer my IP address right there, and we'll list on the port uh, 4444. So we can press enter. Um, here we can just type in execute. Um, the reason it's not executing actually is because I don't have my listener up. So um, here I'll just split this. Um, I'll do, I'll use all wrap netcat minus lnvp, and we'll listen on port 4444. Uh, we can press, we can press that in type enter you do see it's loading right um now we do have a shell right so now we can export term equals x term and clear this right uh this spawn a uh, tty shell under here so we can just type in uh, tty um you can find this under netsec 
Um, we'll run this in uh, usually bin or usually Python 3's installed actually and we can run this in bin bash. So now we're WW data, same thing that happened under here, right? So if we did type in ID, you do see we're WW data. So now we have a shell, right? So if you go back, right, um, if we go to files or um, if, you, if you do go to files right here, um, we will need to actually go under images. We can clear this. Um, what I did was actually just get these two files right here, the GIF file and also the JPG. So here we can just do Python 3 minus M HTTP. And we'll start our, we'll start our server running, right, on port um, 8081. Uh, before I press enter, uh, we're going to wget HTTP. Well, actually, I'll make a dir as, um, I'll just call this, um, I'll just call this in our game info, right? So I'll just do game info. So we'll see the into game info. Uh, we'll just wget HTTP 10.0.0. .0 .0 206, I believe. Uh, yeah, 206. So we can uh, press enter on that. Um, so we did get our, um, actually not 206. Um, let's press enter on that first and then do port 80, 81. And we can get our hacker with laptop. Uh, we can press enter on that. And we can also do this on the GIF. All right, and we do have um, we do have our uh, JPG file and our GIF file. Uh, the reason I knew that it was um, I had to look into these. If we do cat into the hacker.jpg, you do see there's binary in here. Uh, there's some type of file, right? So we can use a stack hide um, for here, and you can actually use um, extract um, extract, I think that's how you spell it. Um, and we can extract our um, hacker dot with laptop, right? Um, I think it was minus SF. Um, here, let's search up um, some examples. I did search up some examples, stake hide, extract data. Um, so here uh, you do see we can extract some data right here. And probably this command didn't work because I didn't spell extract right. Um, so we want to extract from our um, hacker with laptop. We can press enter and you see that we have backup.zip. Um, let's try to unzip this uh, backup.zip. Uh, you do see there's a password required to unzip it. Um, so for that to happen, we can actually Let's go to f um, crack f crack zip right here. Um, I always forget the command. I don't memorize this command, so I just search this up. Um, so we can just press enter on that. Um, and just telling us to specify um, the word list and also the zip file, right? So we can specify user share word list um, rocku.txt, and then we're also going to specify the the zip file, right, which is a backup.zip. And you see that we find a password. So now we can um, just, um, yeah, we can unzip uh, backup.zip. Press enter on that. Now we do to get a file called source source code.php. Um, so I'm just gonna open, I'm just gonna open this in the uh, leaf path, so source code.php. Um, you do see that we have a uh, MD5, or base64 actually, base64 hash. Um, um, so we can just copy that, right? From here, we can just close that out. Uh, we can just do echo, and we can just uh, base64, and we can just pipe this out to use the command. D, and you do see we have a, um, I don't know, password, right? So we can just type that in, or put that in our notes right here. Um, if we do run this command over here again, um, you do see that the user was this user right here, which I believe is under our home. So let's get our connection back again. Uh, we're, not, we're not we're not gonna spawn a TTY again, so 
So we can just do our execute. Here, just get our command again. Um, so we do have a shell. I'm not going to spawn a TTY, so I'm just going to go into your home, and you do see that we have um, these three users, right? So uh, for under these three users, um, we did see that it was uh, this user right here. So we can easily just SSH into that, right? Um, so for that to happen, um, I'll just exit this out. Um, I'll just SSH into this user at 10.0.0, uh, was it 206? Uh, we can just press enter on that. Um, and once we press enter, we can type in the password, which was this right here. Um, we can press enter. So um, it doesn't seem to be working. It was that user, right? It was that user. Or wait. Here, let me uh, copy this again. Oh, it's because actually, here we go. I know why, because I accidentally copied. This was the password right here, actually. Um, so we can just copy that. And now we are at that user, right? So if you clear that, um, we can see into home. I usually like, well, the first thing I'm like doing is actually going under the slash etc. Um, I just do ls minus la to see if there's any um, files here, right? That are under my name, right? Uh, which are usually not, um, or usually like checking slash far. But since we did uh, privilege escalate, we do have a password now, so we can just CD back. We can just do uh, sudo minus l. And you do see that we can run a par with all this. Um, I did try uh, executing netcat with it since it did let me execute command, but all I did was use uh, docker to privilege escalate. Um, so if we go to gtfo bins, um, we can type in docker. Um, you do see that we want to get a shell. So from here we can um, get a shell running docker, right, as sudo. Um, so we can just do um, docker. Actually, not as sudo, it's just, uh, just docker, right? So now we can do id. And you do see that we have the uid as uh, root right, right here. So now we can cd into root ls, uh, we can cat to proof dot txt, and there is our uh, flag, right? Um, let me close all this out, actually, I'll just scoot this over. Um, and there's our root flag, right? Um, uh, here's the creator of the box, his, uh, here's his Twitter and his LinkedIn, and yeah, that's it. Well guys, uh, that's pretty much in the video, a uh, pretty good box, honestly, um, pretty realistic. Uh, because of the filtering on uh, trying to get code execution right for your show. Uh, well, yeah, guys, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.